hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that everyone's having a great and blessed day on today and if you're new to my channel hello welcome my name is isis and um please subscribe to my channel and please turn on your post notifications it's the little bell that says um that's right next to the uh subscribe button and if you're not new to my channel and you've been watching my videos welcome back and hello um, I think that was the first time I ever like said my name in my videos and stuff because I rarely do that but I need to start doing that because I want people to know who I am. So this video was a um, recommended video and in this video I'm going to be discussing split ends. Now I wrote down some notes and stuff like that, put it down on my little notepad so if I'm looking down I'm looking at my notes and I'm learning with you all about natural hair and um, how to take care of hair. And everything so split ends refers to the splitting or fraying of the hair shaft most commonly affecting long hair but it can also affect short hair as well and what fraying means it means um, worn out or worn at the edge um, and like unravel so how to reduce split ends now be gentle when you're brushing or combing your hair. You most likely should comb your hair more than brush it and comb it with a wide tooth comb. It's okay to use a brush because I use a brush sometimes too. Just don't be so rough. Do like when you're brushing your hair, excuse me, or combing it, end up. So you start at the bottom and then you work your way up. Don't start at the root. And then brush or comb that way because you're going to uh, strip your hair and you're actually pulling your hair out. And that's not a good thing. So that's number one. Number two, um, trim your ends every four to six months. Now, I haven't done a trimming video yet because before I even started my, my uh, channel, I already trimmed my uh, dead ends. But... Um, it's very important to trim your split ends, your dead ends or whatever you call them. I call them dead ends. Um, it's very important to take care of that. And I know it's a little different to trim hair when you're natural as opposed to having relaxed hair. And um, it's kind of like the same thing. If you're doing a twist out with your hair, that's the best way to trim your ends. So if you're doing a twist out and the ends are not like twisting or doing anything and they look frizzy and they're kind of rough cut those because most likely those are dead ends and you need to cut those split ends off so for an example when in my hair when my hair used to be relaxed i used to not like getting my um ends trimmed because i thought that it was making my hair look shorter but the older i got and you know more research and things that like that that i've been um noticing was that it's very important and it's a good thing to get your ends trimmed because what's going to happen is say for an example let me get a piece of my hair say for an example this is dead ends let's just say it's not but let's just say these are dead ends right here right I don't want to get my hair trimmed because I feel like I don't know my hair looks longer without it being trimmed Let's just say. Okay, what's going to happen? As opposed to this, my ends are going to rise and rise and rise and rise. Now I'm here. Now i got to trim that. As opposed to getting this little bit trimmed off, now I have, to get, I have to get that much trimmed off. Now, if I'm really being obnoxious, it's going to rise even more. Now i got to get this much trimmed off. And you know what's going to happen? Because your hair is going to look uneven. You're going to have to get your hair cut. That's why, you know, like a lot of people get their hair cut and stuff like that. Because they had a lot of dead ends and everything. I'm just fluffing my hair out. So, you know, it's not good to do that. It's very important to get your ends trimmed. Now I love getting my ends trimmed because it's like, okay, my hair, your hair actually grows more when you get it trimmed. And you really take care of your ends and things like that. Um, your hair grows a lot faster because um like i said if you don't trim your ends they start to rise and um they're going to split even more and you can um it will start to affect your hair and split ends actually can lead to breakage it really can 
it can lead to your hair breaking off. Excuse me, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. It's always important to trim. Like I said, I am going to do a trimming video when I need one. But I just gave y'all a little something like how to know if you have uh, dead ends. And always, it's very beneficial to cut your dead ends off with hair scissors as opposed to paper scissors. Um, it's very uh, important to use hair scissors. Because paper scissors, not that they're bad, it's just it's not for your hair, it's for paper. And hair scissors, they're for your hair. So trimming is, I think that, in my opinion, that's the number one way to reduce split ends or dead ends um, is trimming. I think that is very important to trim. Also, drinking more water. Water is very beneficial in everyday life and health. It's very important to keep yourself hydrated um, because you're hydrating your body and also your hair when you're drinking water. It hydrates your scalp and stuff like that. Water is very important to drink water. I, I told you all, I have a big pink motivational water bottle that I drink every day and um, I love it. I love it and I take vitamins so you need to hydrate yourself with water even if you're taking vitamins or not. It's very important to hydrate yourself with water. Now another thing is avoid putting heat in your hair. It's not good to have heat in your hair. It's really really not especially like for me when I was relaxed I used to put a lot of high heat in my hair. I'll put it on extremely high because I have very thick hair and I wanted it so so straight and as a result of that I had a lot of heat damage and I had to get a big chop. So it's not it's not good to put a lot of heat in your hair because um, you're burning your, your hair to be honest with you and that can cause dead ends and you do not want that. You do not want that. Um, air dry your hair with like after you wash and condition it and stuff. Air dry your hair as opposed to towel drying your hair, especially with a towel like this behind me. It's not good to use towels like those. And if you're going to towel towel dry your hair like I do, um, use a microfiber towel because it absorbs the water and it doesn't wear. Towels like this, like the one behind me, my bathroom towel, they wear. They wear on your hair and stuff like that and you will start to get a ball spot. You don't want that. So it's very important to use a microfiber towel. Um, take biotin. Biotin and uh, folic acid is another vitamin. Um, I know a lot of women who are um, pregnant and stuff, they, that's a good, um, some people take that as like a prenatal and stuff like that. And it's very good for pregnancy, uh, folic acid. Um, but with biotin and folic acid, what it does is um, it gets to your hair follicles and stuff like that. And it does prevent breakage. Like I said, biotin, I've been doing some research on it. It's good to pre prevent split ends by taking biotin. And um, biotin can, can also help with weight loss. But like I told you all in my last video, if you've seen it, I'm not taking biotin for weight loss. I'm just taking it for my hair. And I have been losing some weight taking it, but I'm really using it just for um, to promote some more hair growth. That's it. Because I want my hair at a certain length. That's pretty much it, but it's good to prevent split ends by taking biotin. And the biotin vitamins that I recommend are the Spring Valley vitamins. You can get those from Walmart. And the, um, the main choice uh, biotin vitamins. I recommend those as well. Sleep on silk or satin. Now, we discussed this, you, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, we discussed sleeping on silk or satin. Well, more so satin. I sleep on satin. I have a satin bonnet. Because your hair just, it slides off of it. It like slips off of it. As opposed to sleeping like a cloth towel or um, scarf or something like that. It's going to rub your hair. And that can cause breakage and it can cause uh, dead ends. You don't want that. You don't want split ends and things like that. Also, deep condition. Deep condition your hair every one to two weeks. It's very important to do that. It's extremely important to... Um, deep condition your hair. I'm always talking about that because um, it's all protein and um, some people put a raw egg in it. My mom does the raw egg and I'm going to be doing a video on that on, of my mom doing her hair. I'm very, very, very excited. I'm so excited to have a video of my mom on my channel. So um, that 
deep conditioning that can help reduce split ends and that's actually true because when my hair was relaxed and I got my hair deep conditioned I didn't have many split ends so hey that works too and also use a leave-in conditioner leave-in conditioner you all know I love leave-in conditioners and y'all know my favorite leave-in conditioner is by Cantu leave-in conditioner it's very important because what the leave-in conditioner does is um, it protects your hair and um, it does protect your ends because it's a leave-in conditioner. It's conditioning your hair. So you can reduce split ends by doing that. But like I said, I think that the number one thing to um, do to prevent split ends is trimming your hair every four to six months. I think that that's very important because like I said, I used to not like getting my ends trimmed but now since I'm older and I understand hair more I enjoy getting my ends um, cut off because my hair will grow even longer and even quicker and um, I know a lot of people don't like getting their hair trimmed because they think that their hair look long their hair looks longer with the dead ends and it it does but it looks unhealthy as well I'd rather have healthy hair than met and beautiful ends than um dead ends and long hair and my hair looks terrible and unhealthy and broke up I do not want that so and also you can tell like if you have um dead ends because your dead ends look really thin and frail cut that out you do not want that in your hair excuse me you do not want that in your hair please just cut that out there's no reason for you to hold on to it just cut it properly 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 and that's pretty much it thank you all for watching this video i hope that everyone has a great and blessed day and please subscribe to my channel if you watched it from this far subscribe why not why not just subscribe so please subscribe to my channel have a great and blessed day and please stay safe and positive out there thank you all so much Mwah.